Hello everyone, Kill423 here from EpicCouncil.com and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on the uh, RGH hack for the Corona motherboard. Uh, I'm going to be using the Executor QSB add-on with the built-on crystal. Um, this is a pretty basic package here, uh, wrapped in the styrofoam stuck inside of one of these, Corona USB upgrade, uh, and it comes with uh, two yellow stickers, you want to make sure that you put those on, it will really help you out with uh, keeping everything in place. I'm going to go ahead and put my stickers on right away. Terribly sure as to where they're actually supposed to go. So I'm going to just stick them somewhere. They look like they fit properly. Also, where it looks like they're going to do the most good. Alright, so I just stuck one on this side and one over here. Hold everything in place. Now, this chip is pretty self explanatory. We're going to be coming right over here by the south bridge. And right here it's going to sit. All the solder points are awfully clear. Clearer than my lighting anyway. And just get everything kind of lined up. And stick the old girl in place. Apply a little pressure. Make sure that you're Adhesive pads are doing their job. There you go. Now, we're going to have to get them all soldered in. Typically, I would have uh, pre tanned all these points. People give me crap about the way I say that. Tinned, I guess. I'm just putting a little, little bit of flex space on all these five points here. Let's see if turning the light on helps any. No, nope, not really. Solder. Heating the motherboard and the copper pad or the silver pad on the QSB at the same time. Tricky part here means that I didn't uh, pre tune the, the holes. Oh, there we go. Getting it to actually take the solder. I'll get in a little bit tighter here so you can see a little bit more what it is that I'm talking about and doing. Just getting the solder to flow down into the holes. Come around and do the five, the three on the other side here. And 
again heating the QSB and the motherboard equally. And this spot here is probably going to be the pain in the butt spot. It's anything like the Trinity. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Drop my tweezers. All right, be sure to take a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. Clean up after yourself. Notice that the uh, solder is all nice and shiny. It's because I use flux. You don't use flux. A lot of times you'll cook all the flux out of the solder. The solder's already got flux in it. You'll cook the, so the flux out of the solder and it'll end up looking all dry and dull. Alright. Now we're going to move over here and get this here all lacquered up. I'm going to just prep these four points for now. I want to be sure that it's actually flowing down onto the board, not just pretending to. Preferably down into the hole where possible. This particular location has several QSB points, so I'm going to make it a point to just do a few and then clean up after myself. And I'll do a couple more here. Just get a nice little even coat on there with the flex paste. Maybe this one's going to be the one that's a pain in the butt. It doesn't really take an overabundance of, of solder to make the connection. These are the last two points on the QSB here. And then the rest of it's wiring. I'm installing the cool runner.
All right, while we're in here, we'll go ahead and prep all these other solder pads. Where we're going to be attaching wires to here shortly. This one's the 3V3, so it's a slightly heavier gauge wire. So I'm laying an extra thick bead of solder on there. Be careful not to bridge any of these other points as you do this, or as you attach wires. This is my my first Corona install, so that uh, five volts just a little different to me. And again, while this flex paste is fresh, get it scrubbed off there. Because the more times you heat it, the harder it's going to be to get off. find it's easier to just clean it off after each time you solder and apply fresh stuff before you solder Alright, there we have the uh, QSB installed. And if you notice, they put, uh, they put all the same hookups on here. So you can wire in your NAND X, blue to blue, white to white, and green to green. Just like so. Alright. Next we're going to install the cool runner. Be just a moment here. <laughs> 